You know, it seems like lasers are everywhere in the tech scene these days. You got your laser mice, your laser printers, your beams by flow. You got those Dr. Evil frickin' laser beam jokes we keep making here on TechWiki in spite of the fact that that movie was like 15 years ago. But there's a new use for lasers that hasn't become widespread in the consumer market just yet, but one that is already being deployed in commercial settings and may find its way into your home in the near future. Laser sex doll, just kidding, projectors, which have some advantages that make them a cut above existing technology. You see, most modern projectors, be they LCD or DLP, use a bright light source, usually a bulb, to create white light, which is then separated to create red, green, and blue pixels, which are ultimately blasted at your screen. And although this arrangement functions well enough, a lot of the light from the projector bulb has to be filtered out to produce only the red, blue, and green that is needed at any given time. In fact, less than one-fifth of the light generated by the projector actually makes it onto the screen. A higher-end laser projector, on the other hand, uses separate red, blue, and green lasers instead of white light, which are combined by a lens into an image. Not only does this cut down tremendously on power consumption, but the greater efficiency means that laser projectors can be made to be much brighter than their bulb-based counterparts without needing more electricity than your standard wall outlet can safely deliver. Lasers are also typically made to emit light at one, and only one, precise wavelength corresponding to a specific color of light, meaning that it's much easier for manufacturers to build projectors with arrangements of lasers at the correct wavelengths to enable wider color gamuts for more realistic and vibrant colors. You can learn more about different RGB setups and how they produce color right about here. And even moving beyond picture quality and efficiency, laser projectors are a lot more convenient. Not only do laser light sources last much, much longer than bulbs, uh, Epson, for example, is saying that one of its home models will last 30,000 hours, which is long enough to watch every episode of The Simpsons over 130 times, they also don't need tons of time to achieve peak brightness when you turn them on. So no more waiting around for your projector to warm up. Oh, and they turn off nearly instantly too. Of course, at this time, as with any new technology, you'll be paying the dreaded early adopter tax. Epson's home model that I just mentioned is going for eight thousand US dollars at the time of filming. I mean, what kind of homes are they putting these things in? With higher end commercial models going for many times that. Additionally, consumer focused laser projectors often uh, cheat a little bit by only having two blue lasers, one of which hits a phosphor that separates the light into red and green. Another concern is an effect known as speckle. And if you've ever used a laser pointer, you'll probably be familiar with this. Speckle refers to how the dot on the wall kind of shimmers if you look at it really close. Though well-made projectors should be able to minimize this effect. Which is a good thing too, because the last thing you'd want when watching Tech Quickie on your fancy new projector is for me to look even more ridiculous than I usually do. Wait, what? John! TunnelBear VPN lets you tunnel to one of 20 different countries, letting you browse the internet and use online services as though you are some anonymous dude or dudette from some other country. They have easy to use apps for iOS, Android, PC, and Mac, and also a Chrome extension. And all you have to do, when I say easy, I really do mean easy. You download it, install it, and you like hit a button. And then two things happen. 
your connection gets encrypted with AES 256-bit encryption, and your public IP address gets switched, so you show up as though you are in a different country. This lets you bypass all the annoying details that typically come with using a VPN for personal use. No DNS, no router settings, no port configurations, nothing like that. They've got a top-rated privacy policy, and they don't log user activity, and the best part is you can not take my word for it, you can try it for free, with 500 megs of data with no credit card required. Then. When you decide to get a year of unlimited data, you can save 10% by going to tunnelbear.com slash Linus. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, leave a comment with a suggestion for a future video, and I'm, I'm out of, I'm out of hands! But you'll have to subscribe anyway, even though I can't point at the button. I mean, it's kind of over there. I can kind of point at both.